Welcome to the SmartTap training series. This video is on how to apply your server license. Uh, there's actually a two-step process to this here, so we'll cover both steps in here, um, but they will be done separately over time with your engineer if requested. Um, in order to increase your license, uh, you may be trying to increase your concurrent recordings, your number of users, things like that. Um, but when you make a ticket to request your license, this is how you go about that. So we'll switch over to our, our virtual server and I'll show you how to go about that process here. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to get a DAT file. It's called a .dat file to your engineer in order to for them to process your license. So just follow along the bottom here. You're going to go to the program files under C drive program files. Follow along the prompt at the bottom there. Audio codes. Smart tap. License server. The file we're looking for is called getSystemIdentifier.exe. We're going to go ahead and run that as administrator. Now, keep in mind, anytime you run any sort of file or execute any sort of command on um, SmartTap, you want to run it as the administrator. Even if you are logged in and as an administrator, you still want to make sure you still right-click and run as administrator because sometimes all the permissions don't flow all the way through. Uh, it may pop up asking for you to approve anything. Just say yes if it does. That's OK. So we're going to right-click, run as administrator. It's very fast. It runs. And you're going to go down to the bottom. You're going to see a new file with today's date and time on there. And it's going to say system-smarttap. And then I'll have a name of your server, .dat. That's the file you want to get to your engineer. So we're going to copy that onto your desktop. And you're going to attach it to your ticket. Once your engineer gets that file from you, they will then be able to make the actual license itself. They'll generate that license and email you back a file. That file already downloaded onto this particular folder here, but it's under our, I just put it under downloads file uh, folder for us here, and it's called license.lic. That will be the same name for everybody. So I'm just going to copy that onto the desktop just to get out of the way for you here. Now, the most important thing we need to do is we need to go in here and we need to stop the service of the license server itself. So we're going to open up our services. And if you're not sure how to get to the services, you can always just do a search in here, services, right there. And you can see in here, we're going to have a number of different uh, devices in here by audio codes. The one we're looking for is audio codes LS. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. OK, so that has been stopped. And now we're going to go ahead and apply the license itself here. So we're going to go into the files explorer. We're going to go to this PC, C drive, the same place we went before, program files, audio codes. Smart tap license server. Now we're going to take the, the license itself that was generated by your engineer and we're going to place that in here. But first, always a good idea to make a backup copy. So we're going to copy and just paste it in here so we have a copy of our existing license. Take the new license that was given to you by engineer, you're going to move it in there, you're going to replace it. Then you go down to your <clears throat> license server and you're going to go ahead and start this again. It should take effect. Now, when we go in here, we check our licenses. You're going to go into your login to your SmartTap server. You're going to go into System, Licenses. And you're going to see this pull up in here. Now, this is grayed out here, so you can't see because it's proprietary information. But your product key will be in here. You'll be able to see it. Um, if you're ever requested by your engineer, you'll be able to see that product key in there. Um, but you'll also see a date issue will change on there. The date issue will be incrementalized up to today's date. And that's how you know the license is taking effect. But you'll also be able to see on here, if you go in your audio targets, you'll see your new amounts in here. Uh, if you still see your old amounts up there, um, uh, audio targets is for your um, users. And then the auto concurrent recordings is how many recordings you can do at once at any given time. If these are still your old values, then the license did not take effect. Please try to repeat the process or contact your engineer if you have any more questions on it. If it's not working for some reason, but you should be good to go if you follow the steps we showed you on here. Uh, thank you for choosing Audio Code SmartTap service, and we look forward to you in the next video.